Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video about the genetics DNA of the Jews of Ukraine in honor of the great Ukrainian Jewish leader Volodymyr Zelensky, um, who is uh, heroic in rallying the world against Russia's invasion of his country. And uh, I also feel uniquely qualified to discuss this issue because um, I am a fully Ashkenazi Jewish and my closest modern population um, is Ukrainian or Ukrainian Jews um, uh, in terms of the average. Uh, when looking at the global 25 modern scaled and unscaled uh, modern uh, population averages running the uh, Vahaduo online tool. And so uh, I just wanted to clarify some things about Ukrainian Jews uh, in the, his the long history there. Um, I'm not going to go into the whole history there. Um, there's an excellent uh, rabbi, professor, um, academic, Dr. Henry a Abertson, who uh, has made uh, very, very good videos uh, about the history of the Jews in Ukraine. I can say one thing in terms of looking at the autosomal DNA profile of uh, Jews from Ukraine that um, I'm not going to get into the whole uh, Khazar uh, conversion I've talked about that many, many times. I, I think it's bunk. I don't, I don't really think it was any, any significant at all. If it happened, it was only the, the royal elites, uh, and that really, and I don't even, I'm skeptical it ever happened at all. But if it did, uh, there is no, virtually no uh, genetic input um, into the um, Ashkenazi population, and um, I'm going to show you my own results. And, uh, and show you why, uh, that it's uh, just complete nonsense. Um, basically, Ashkenazi Jews, um, our autosomal DNA profile is uh, mostly uh, Levantine, Middle Eastern, and Southern European, Mediterranean. We're a very Mediterranean population, and uh, it really fits the historical migrations of Jews Across the Mediterranean basin in antiquity who um, were Judeans uh, from the Middle East and, and uh, married uh, pagan pagan populations uh, who were mostly similar to Greeks and Italians and um, I'm going to show you so my uh, here's my um, my closest uh, top 10 closest modern average populations uh, this is scaled in Global 25, as you can see Ashkenazi Ukraine there, and uh, you can see Sicilian, Maltese, Southern Italian after that, and you can see um, the um, Monty calculator, the admixture, uh, you can see how much Sephardic Jew I get, and then you can see closely followed by Greek Thessaly and Italian Liguria, so you can see, and then you can see I have more uh, Arabian uh, admixture the Saudi than uh, any Slavic. So uh, there is some minor uh, Slavic. You can see it in the Polish Kashubian, um, but it's very minor. And then there's also a very trace sort of East Asian type of ancestry in Ashkenazi Jews. That's no more than like 1%. Um, and so, and then if, if you can see uh, the uh, unscaled results, very similar, Ashkenazi Ukraine, and um, the Mediterranean populations uh, after the Ashkenazi results. By the way, Ashkenazi Ukraine, Ashkenazi Russia, very similar. So you're going to get similar results. And you can see the Sicilian and the Maltese, um, Southern Italian, Italian Apulia. And these are my um, admixture results. And you can see again, the Sephardic Jew is prominent. Um, Greek Thessaly, followed by Greek Thessaly. And there's the Saudi results and the minor Slavic results and then some trace results. And then you can see in uh, Illustrative DNA, which is a great website that goes off of um, the Global 25 coordinates. And you can see again, Ashkenazi G Ukraine, uh, closest population. And, um, and then you can, and then with my ancient uh, admixture, ancient populations, you can see uh, the Canaanite, 23.4% uh, is, is number one, and then followed by Hellenic and Italian and Etruscan. 
and uh, that's the uh, the sort of inter intermarriages that took place in antiquity in the Mediterranean basin with sort of Greco-Roman type people and it's sort of like the Ashkenazi ancestry sort of crystallized uh, during the Roman Hellenistic periods uh, which was a mix of uh, Judean Israelite ancestry and Greek and Roman type ancestry and uh, there is a, a sort of a Persian Iranian component there with Zagrosian and then there's the minor Slavic you have the, the northern, there's also a minor northern African component there and um, some other trace results. So, and then here's uh, the top 10 uh, modern, global 25 modern populations of Ashkenazi Ukrainian average um, scale in Bahadua, global 25, and uh, with, with uh, Ashkenazi references removed. And yeah, you can see um, that our admixture you know, which is the, the Middle Eastern, the Southern European, the, the very minor uh, Eastern European, um, and some other trace results sort of puts us close to Mediterranean populations uh, like Maltese, Sicilians, Southern Italians, Greek, Greek Islanders, you know, Greek Crete, uh, Italian Abruzzo, and there's Italian Jew as well. And there is a theory that the original Ashkenazi Jews who settled in the Rhineland in, uh, in Northeastern France, Western Germany, um, the Shum cities, uh, Mines, Worms, and Spire, where Ashkenazi developed in the Middle Ages, that these uh, Jews came up from Italy, that they were Italian, they were Italian Jews who moved, migrated north to Germanic and Frankish lands, and then later migrations eastward, uh, later on and during the Middle Ages, when the persecutions uh, really increased in the Germanic lands. And um, you can see on the PCA plots, uh, with um, illustrative DNA, uh, the Southern European PCA, uh, and I'm showing you now my results and also the general populations, and you can see that Ashkenazi is right there, and I am, I'm right there as well, uh, with Greek Crete um, and Southern European, uh, Southern Italian populations, Calabria, Bas Basilicata, Cam Campania, Apulia, Sicilian East, Sicilian West, Maltese, Abruzzo, and uh, Greek Peloponnese, uh, Greek Dodecanese, and uh, you can see Sephardic Jews there as well, and um, not too far from, uh, also from Cyprus, uh, from Cypriots. So this is also demonstrated in PCA. You can see in, um, from, um, well, here's the, my top eight pop modern populations with my true ancestry, very similar results. You can see uh, the Sicilian, the Abruzzo, Greek, um, Southern Italian. So those are all the very similar, very close populations to Ashkenazi Jews. Um, and then you can see in the PCA plot, and you can see where I plot and where Ashkenazi plot right with East Sicilians, Italian Abruzzo, Central Greek, Greek Crete, South Italian, um, etc. And you can see sort of if you like zoom out a little bit, if you pan out a little bit, you can see that sort of Ashkenazi and also myself are sort of a midway point between Levantine populations such as Syrians, Lebanese Muslims, and, um, and North Italian. So it's almost amazing. It's almost like exactly halfway midway point between North Italian and let's say like Lebanese. So that's sort of where we are in terms of like our admixture, um, which is the original Levantine Middle Eastern and then a lot of uh, admixture from Southern Europe and then a little bit from Central Eastern Europe and some minor, some minor, other minor uh, results. And um, so I just want to sort of like clear, uh, just clarify that. So like now I'm not, again, I'm not making, I'm talking about fully um, Ashkenazi Jews such as myself, such as the president of uh, Zelensky of Ukraine. I understand that, um, when the Soviet Union ruled Ukraine, um, and it was part of the, the Soviet Empire, uh, under Stalin and other leaders, they implemented the Marxist-Leninist communist doctrine, atheist communist, communist doctrine that was completely uh, outlawed religion. And so they sort of lost their connection to their Jewish ethnicity, their Jewish uh, um, heritage, and there were a lot of intermarriages. And so many, many, uh, Ukrainian Jews and Russian Jews today 
are um, uh, have many um, non-Jews in their family or Jews who are more recent converts to Judaism, which makes them completely Jewish, but their genetic profile is going to be somewhat different than people like myself who have uh, more, uh, ancestry farther back from Ashkenazi Jews who are, again, cr again, crystallized in sort of like the Mediterranean basin of an Mediterranean uh, antiquity during the Hellenistic Roman periods, our genetic profile crystallized during that, that time as the original Judean Israelite mixed with Greek and Roman pagan type populations. And so we were highly in, uh, endogamous through our travels through up to you know France and Germany and then east to the different places in Eastern Europe. And so that's why most of our autosomal DNA profile is uh, Levantine Middle Eastern and Greek and Italian. So we're sort of like Greek and Italian shifted Levantine people. <laughs> so that's sort of a little bit about Ukrainian Jews. So I hope you got something out of this and please leave any comments and happy, happy to engage in any kind of discussion. Thanks for watching.